So do you want to create your handmade paper bows with your scrap papers and as well use them up in your explosion boxes, scrapbooks and albums? So here's another video tutorial for you all. So that's the part 2 of paper bow making tutorial. The part 1 link is mentioned in the description box. Hey guys, welcome to my channel Kanika this side from Handmade by Kanika. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn the bell notification on so you never miss an update from us. So let's get started. So this one is the bow which I made in the part 1. So I'll be taking up the basic structure and I will be making a bow. So basically I need two same size of bows. So here I am constructing the one bow. So if you want to know how to create the base of this one, you can check out the video number 1 for detailed tutorial. So one bow I have already created and this is how I am constructing the other bow. So here you can see I have used the same scrap paper. This is the Tinny Minis paper from Dress My Craft. And what I am going to do is I am going to align both of these paper bows like this. And voila our paper bow is ready. Now for the focal point here I have this mulberry rose so you can add the flowers or sentiments or anything which you want as per your project type so that's how our bow looks like and our first bow is done so now let's move on to second bow type so to start that here i am using another scrap paper from my stash and i have taken up the compass and i have marked it to the size 2 inch that is I am taking 2 inch radius so the circle will be of 4 inches you can choose as per your size as per your scrap paper and then with the help of my pair of scissors I will be trimming off this circle so if you are new to our channel and watching our video for the first time and haven't subscribed it do subscribe it if you want to see more such kind of content and do like this video so here we are ready with our circle now I am taking up my scoreboard this is the mini scoreboard and what I am going to do is using my scoring tool I am going to score lines at every 1 4th inch. If you don't have score tool you can as well mark the lines and use your ruler to create the folds. So to start off I have marked that 1 4th inch then half inch now I am scoring at 3 4th inches so if you closely observe I am not starting with the starting position of my pattern paper I am starting with the slightly inner side going up once and then coming down it will make sure that I don't ruin my paper and get the crisp lines so that it will be easy for me to fold all these lines so if you create shaker cards or shaker elements and you might have the circular inner part of them which you have as your scrap so you can use them here as well so now as you can see we have got all these lines which you can see the score lines now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start folding it out so the first fold you need to make sure that you fold it downwards and then here i'm doing the fan fold that is one fold is coming up the other one is going down that's how you need to complete all the folds like this just you need to make sure that the first fold that is the first fold comes and makes a mountain shape so likewise here I am done folding it up now what I'm going to do is with the leftover paper which is this I am going to just take a rectangular long piece like this and on the back side I am adding 6 mm red tacky tape you can as well use your liquid adhesive I feel comfortable while working with this now what I'm going to do is I'm just removing one fourth an inch of this backing and what I'm going to do is I'm going to align this to the center of the circle with leaving and about 0.5 centimeters on the top like this now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make the fan folds come together again like this i'm going to hold them up and then the leftover piece which is this one i'm going to add it on the back side like this and now i'm going to remove the leftover backing of my red tacky tape and then i'm simply going to add this piece like this So this will be the center part and now I am simply going to open up the both the sides like this. 
and it will create a beautiful curved shape bow and now for the center you can add a flower like you can see like here i have two of them so on first one i'm going to add a mulberry flower like this and on the second one here i have the sentiment which says family which i'm going to add it at the center so that's how our second bow looks like now let's move on to the third bow so here i have taken a square piece which measures five inches and i'm going to diagonally fold it on the other side then i'm going to open it up and again diagonally fold it on the other remaining side then i'm going to open it up and with this one corner i am going to cut one of the triangles that is i'll simply cut one fourth area of the square like this now what i'm going to do is i'm going to align the paper like this and then make a crease line and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab my pair of scissors and onto this longer side i'm going to make a c cut which looks like this i am going from one end to the other like this and then what i'm going to do is from that corner itself i'm going to the other corner i'm making sure i'm not cutting it thoroughly i'm making sure that i leave 0.5 cm gap in between now i'm going to open it up and then with the triangle portion i am going to make the right side come up and then what i'm going to do is i'll grab my liquid adhesive and at the center part i'm going to add a little bit and on the four corners of the triangle i'm going to add it might look a little complicated but when you are going to make it it is a very handy and very fast bow making tutorial now i'll grab all the four corners of both the sides and stick them at the center I will make sure that I hold them up as I have used liquid adhesive so I need to make sure that they get stuck very well. So like this you need to make sure that you make all the four corners come together like this. So once they are stuck it will look like this. Now again I am going to trim off this triangular piece like this. Now if you want to leave the lower portion like this you can leave it or you can as well give a V cut on the lower portion if you want to give more depth to your bow like how I am showing and also if you are creating any of these bows and if you are getting inspired so do make sure that you tag us on Instagram, Pinterest or Facebook I would love to see your projects. So again I am going to grab another flower and I am going to add it at the center. You can as well use your pearls or anything. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. And if you want to see more 3 types of bows, you can check out our previous video which is the video number 98 in which I have showed tutorial of these bows. And I hope to see you soon again with another tutorial. Happy crafting!